Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg here from Kino Body. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my full workout. Now this is a very, very modified workout because as probably a lot of you know, I injured my right arm. I got some golfer's elbow and uh, it's kind of unfortunate, but that's life, you know. Um, I got injured from doing some, like this dragon flag exercise in this Bruce Wayne video and I pretty much, I just never do the exercise so I wasn't accustomed to doing it and because I have so much strength in my upper body, I kind of just used too much strength that I'm not used to and I kind of tweaked it and then I trained for a few months which is dumb instead of letting it heal. So whenever you train through an injury in a way that aggravates it, it's going to set the recovery process back. But I've been working on it with um, a, a girl and she's helping me kind of um, heal the issue. Frankly, it's been helping a little bit, so I'm happy about that. And I got some cream, which I'm applying onto it, you know, once or twice a day that acts as a uh, anti-inflammatory that's actually been making it feel a little bit better and helping with the recovery. So things are improving. Um, I haven't trained in a while, but I found out that I can do push-ups. For whatever reason, push-ups are okay. I was doing some one-arm push-ups like three, four days ago, and I had no issues. Um, but like holding weights and, and, and the open chain exercises tend to put more stress on the muscle. So that's actually why I love bodyweight training is that it's really good at preventing injuries and it's really good if you have injuries you're working through. A lot of stuff like push-ups actually are really good. And when you build up to advanced push-ups like one-arm push-ups, it can be a really good way to stay injury-free and build strength and muscle um, if you're dealing with injuries, or you're recovering, so on and so forth. So um, for my routine while I'm injured, I'm just gonna do like, you know, two workouts a week, of basically one arm push ups. Hopefully, that will help me maintain a lot of my strength and muscle in my upper body. So, I'll do one arm push ups, some jump squats to build my power. I like lower body power. Maybe some pistol squats um, and some bridging and L sits because I like mobility. So, I'm going to be kind of doing something different. It's not going to be a great workout to build a ton of size. Just simply some one arm push ups, some jump squats, some pistol squats, some bridging, some L sits. Sort of like a modified, toned down version of my body weight course. Um, so we're gonna get into the workout and honestly if you've built up a lot of muscle and strength from training properly You'd be surprised how easily you can maintain your body um, How easily you can maintain your strength and muscle match, which is good. So let's get into the workout guys All right, so I'm gonna start off with some push-ups to warm up so I can progressively go um, a bit more advanced so I'm starting with push-ups here you know, just eight reps or so just to make sure my arm feels okay and I felt fine. So now I'm going to go into uh, feet elevated push-ups for my second warm-up set. Just getting the muscle all ready and prepared for the more challenging sets to come. Boom. I'm feeling pretty good here. So now I'm going into my one-arm push-ups. I'll usually start with my weak hand first, but in this case I want to do my injured arm first to make sure it doesn't act up. And this is a brutal exercise. Extremely challenging. One of the hardest exercises in the world to do. Takes so much energy out of you, your core, everything is like firing like crazy. It's a really good chest workout too. You feel in the chest, the triceps, a little bit in the shoulders, and it got my abs killer sore. Now I'm going to the other side and getting these reps in. It's feeling it's feeling pretty good here. Just like this one exercise, probably I can maintain a lot of strength and muscle. Just doing this one exercise twice a week for, you know, a couple months. People think, you know, uh, it's really easy to lose muscle. It's not. Um, it's not as easy as you think. If you're training properly, you can maintain muscle really easily. And there you have it. Oh my god. Just that one set of one-arm push-ups with my feet up. So hard. Eight reps was killer. Much, much, much more challenging and much more difficult than, you know, incline, bench press, bench press. Feel my chest feels great. Triceps feel great. Um, didn't bother my arm at all, which is awesome. So, you know, I think building up this exercise is one of the coolest things you can do. It just looks damn badass and you have this luxury, this freedom to be able to get a great upper body workout in no matter where you are. So, I don't, I don't even talk about this as much as I should, but I'm a huge f uh, fan of bodyweight training. I use it as a key arsenal in my tool. Um, so I'm gonna rest a couple minutes and then do, you know, one or two more sets. So, two to three sets on this. Um, I might, for my third set, I might do an easier variation and pump up more reps for fun. Um, cause I don't know if I can express it, just how hard this exercise is. You feel it in everywhere. Your core, your obliques, your abs get probably the, one of the best workouts you can do. Um, one of a MMA strength and conditioning coach named Eric Wong 
is a big fan of these one-arm push-ups because of the anti-rotational core strength it builds. is very, like carries over very nicely to punching power. So it's a great athletic movement in building upper body strength and core strength together. So let's do, let's do set number two. All right, set number two, here we go. Same thing, some advanced one-arm push-ups. The feet on the bench make it way, way, way harder. You think one-arm push-ups are tough? Try them with your feet on the bench. The idea is to keep your body pretty straight. A lot of people push their hips up on one-arm push-ups. It's cheating, you want to make it as strict as possible. So this is how you do the one-arm push-ups, and bam. Now we're going to the other side. Here we go. There's the other side. Bam. It's getting tough here. It's getting really tough. I haven't done one on push-ups in, in quite a long time. Several months, actually. But you know what? When you build strength by uh, following the Kino Body program and staying lean, you have strength everywhere. Body weight, weights, pretty much everywhere. Honestly, those two sets were so damn brutal. Um, I'm freaking destroyed, so I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one more set with my with uh, assisted style. One hand on a medicine ball. I'm gonna pump out, you know, probably 15 reps per side. I'm not gonna go crazy, and then that's that's it for my upper body. I'm done. I'm gonna do some legs and some mobility core shit. So let's do that. All right, I wanted to kind of do my third set, almost reverse pyramid style, by making it a bit easier. So I did the uh, assisted one arm push with my feet on a bench. Great exercise, a little bit easier, so I'm not using, I'm not lifting 100% of my body weight this time. I'm using a little bit on the medicine ball to make it a bit easier, and the, it's obviously easier on the core too. So, great way to do two hard sets, then one last set a little bit easier. Um, this one really hurt my arm actually, stupidly enough. It really hurt the injury, so it was dumb, so I couldn't actually do it properly. So I just realized, I was like, oh, I'll just have to keep my hand on the ground and try not to use it. And there we go. I probably should have stopped here and just moved on, but I had to finish both sides. I wanted to keep it even. So that was actually not good for my injury. But now I know. Uh, getting that work in. Down, 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 down. And that's that. Now I'm checking out the physique. Funny enough, I feel like I haven't really lost much muscle, even though I haven't really been training much at all in the last month. I feel like the muscle's there. Um, nothing really seems smaller to me. I haven't done any back training in like over a month, no bicep training, and just a tiny bit on the chest, shoulders, arms. Back hasn't lost any size ridiculously enough. Still looks pretty damn big. This is what's amazing about training the Kino Body style, because it's low volume in nature, because it's so minimalistic, you don't really lose Muscle size takes a long time to lose muscle size. So now I want to train some legs. So I want to do jump squats because I want to build more power on my legs. So I'm doing six reps here as high as I can. Really exploding. And set number two. I think I'm doing three sets here. And on this one, I only do five reps because I can feel my power slowing down. I want to get that, uh, that power up. And one final set on the jump squats. This is actually pretty exhausting. You know, when you push yourself with maximum intensity, you don't need a lot of volume. You don't want to be doing too much. Um, there we go. And six reps. Bam. Reset's done. I was going to do pistol squats, but then I, my legs were fried, so I'm like, that's enough of that. Now I'm finishing off with some L-sits. Getting, you know, maintaining some ab strength and some mobility. This is great for flexibility, static flexibility throughout the hamstrings and really just the uh, posterior chain. Um... Really, really good stuff. And set number two, just but basically two sets of 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, I really like the L set. It really keeps you kind of limber and, and mobile and uh, athletic. Uh, it was, it's really hard for me to do it because I was so exhausted from one-on push-ups. And I'm going to be doing some back, some back bridging for stretch out. You know, my interior chain, abs, chest, lats. You know, hip flexors, quadriceps. Nice good stretch here. Keep my body. I figured it's not the injury. I want to focus more on mobility and flexibility. So this is a nice good solid stretch. I'm gonna try and hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Two sets of 15 to 20 seconds. Bam. My physique doesn't look horrible. Actually, I don't mind it. Like I'm not as 
in ridiculous of shape, but it's like more, it's a nice chill look. I dig it. It's not super, it's not too much. I do, I would, I wouldn't mind if I got a bit leaner though. Yeah, I like the leanness. I'm not too worried about size. And set number two, you know, nice good 20 second hold or so, maybe 15. I'm doing it on the mat now because my shoes were too slippery. Nice, good stretch. Open up that spine. This is good for posture, good for keeping your shoulders healthy, your back healthy. This, this exercise cured my back pain. And finally, I'm going to do a little twist hold. Stretch out the glutes especially. Funny enough, someone called me fat the other day. Like, even though I have ab definition, I'm like, Greg, you got fat. It's like, dude, what are you talking about? Don't be so crazy. I'm only human. Even though I have a fitness channel on YouTube, like, give me some slack. I don't need to be 7% body fat every day. I think I'm about like 9% here, to be honest. 172, 172 pounds, 9% body fat. I'm probably look my best around the 168 pound, 168. And stretching on my other side. I held this pose for like about a minute each side, but I edited some of it out. Good, good stuff. And I am done. The workout. I hope. Bam. That's all she wrote. Oh, more flexing. I was doing more flexing. Abs are there. Physique's looking pretty tight. I can't wait till my injury's completely healed up so I can train hard and get in better shape. Because it's fun. The back's there, man. The back's there. I'm pretty damn surprised. It's been this cool experiment. All right, so that was the, uh, the body weight slash work that I'm doing for my injury based off my body weight mastery program. If you want to learn about that, hit the link over there. It's freaking badass. And um, I'm really impressed at how well I'm keeping my, my muscle size. Uh, I think I'm 172 today. I've been staying around 172. I put on some fat from just eating too much, just too much in general. Just being too relaxed, eating too many, too many dinners out, too many bags, pot chips. Um, but I'm impressed at how well I'm keeping my size. Like I haven't trained biceps in over a month. They're not, they're not huge, but I'm pretty impressed. So um, there's a workout you can do if you just, you know, don't have much time on your hands, you don't have access to any equipment, or you know, you're having some injuries, you know, do some push-up variations, do some jump squats, do some uh, L sits, some back bridging, some stretches, and, and great workout for mobility and health. And I think it's awesome. Um, the next time I do this workout, I'm gonna do pistol squats instead of jump squats. I didn't feel like doing both today. It would have been way too much for me. Um, so that's the workout. Some push-ups, some jump squats, some L sits, some back bridging, and you know, a little twist hold at the end. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned with my updates by subscribing below. Share your comments, share your tips or advice for me for this injury. It seems to be going well, thank God. Um, I'm gonna put some cream on it, let it relax tonight, and then go down for a nice Nice work event, so talk to you guys soon. Bye.